What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we got a fun one, don't we, babe? <laughs> yes. I actually just got home from cardio, so I'm a little like, I need to eat something. But uh, we got a fun video because in this video, we're gonna talk about Maddie. Spotlight's on you. Well, spotlight's on me. I just woke up and I just had a launch, so <laughs> my brain is very distracted. What are we talking about today? So today, I'm gonna go through, I don't know if, if you guys know this, but I actually coach Maddie. Yes, I am Maddie's coach uh, for bikini and just everything. So we've been in the off season for about a year now and I thought it'd be really cool to make a video about how I coach Maddie, specifically like with her nutrition, her training and kind of our goals uh, regarding her competing and stuff. Obviously like with Tua and everything, I train mostly men, but I would say a good like 10% of my clients are females and I definitely enjoy coaching like bikini competitors I actually have um, some even wellness competitors joining the team. So I have a few that are looking to compete probably next year. So we'll kind of dive into the wellness world a little bit too, but Maddie is a bikini competitor. She's awesome. I don't know if you know this. I coached her for her first show last year, the Summer Shredding Classic, and she won her class. So that was awesome. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna dive into it today. I love your background. You love the background phone. on my phone? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we are in the gym now, and a few things we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna talk about Maddie's programming. We're gonna talk about nutrition. Um, just kind of like off-season goals and plans we have. We're gonna start off with the gym. So I've actually already done part of my back workout, but I'm gonna take you kind of like through an overview of how we've been uh, programming Maddie's bikini program, and also just film a few sets so you can see like the intensity that she trains at. So today we have back day for Maddie, which is huge for bikini. I think a lot of people, if you're unfamiliar with bikini, obviously like shoulders and booty, right? That's the main things. But the only way you're gonna really get like that good shape is from training back. So we do focus a lot on our lats and things like that. Maddie's growing a back I get this so, for sure. I get so sick of lat movements. <laughs> Lat pull, lat pull, <laughs> lat pull, lat pull. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, so her program is basically a lot of shoulders, glutes, and back. Okay, so we're gonna start. And actually, I'm gonna have you go a little wider, just a little bit. Yeah, good. So we're gonna do kind of like a shoulder width pull down. And the reason we're gonna do this, I'm gonna try to hopefully you guys can hear me. We're focusing right here. Kind of like terrace major. Um, slash outer upper lat, which is gonna create a lot of detail that will show in her back pose when she's on stage. <sighs> keep going, keep going, <sighs> keep going. Let it get hard, let it get hard. <sighs> keep going, come on. <laughs> that was essentially like we said like a reverse grip pull down just really focusing on like that outer upper back detail terrace major lats and things like that um so that's that's one of the movements we're working on you'll notice like her intensity is really high i kind of do the same thing during my sets where like i literally will, like close my eyes and just like focus on just like i'll just keep telling myself like do another one do another one do another one um, yeah. Tempo, everything's there. I will listen to him and I will do more because he's telling me to do more, but I'm also very in tune with myself. Like, I physically could not have done one more at that, so I stopped, but did a few more because he was telling me to as well. I feel like I already have a lap pump. From that <laughs> one, one set in and you already have a lap pump. That, That's that was, how you know. <laughs> that was seriously <laughs> no joke. That was my first back set of the whole day at no pump. Getting pumped. My off-season cardio, I'm really just trying to stay in the pocket. I'm not trying to get too far above stage weight. And right now, in order to do that, because I do sit most of the day at home for work, and I don't have much other form of exercise or movement during the day, uh, to keep that up, I am doing cardio classes right now, which is just a really fun way for me personally to get in cardio like four or five times a week. So they're about 15 minute classes, and I strictly do cardio classes so it doesn't interfere with my lifting. So it's really like dancing, jumping around, and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'd say like there's a couple of misconceptions when it comes to training a bikini competitor. Number one is that they don't need to build a muscle. They have to build a lot of muscle. And Maddie has put on so much muscle this off season, it's insane. And we still debate like if she's put on enough because at the end of the day, if you actually look at the pros, they're so jacked. <laughs> like pro bikini competitors are jacked. 
Um, but the other thing is too, it's like, because bikini girls are smaller per se than like a male bodybuilder, you gotta keep them in the pocket. You gotta make sure that they don't have too much to lose, otherwise they're gonna lose all that hard, uh, hard earned size in the off season. So yeah, she works hard, she trains hard, she does cardio, all the things to make sure that her next prep is gonna be smooth. All right, what we got cooking, good looking? Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. I'm gonna make a homemade chipotle bowl because that's something I actually enjoy eating. We should point out because uh, I noticed there's some cupcakes back there. Yes. Those weren't necessarily for us. <laughs> no, we had a party, which we literally never have people over, so we had a party. But when I made these with like a cake mix we had, because we're also moving out, so I needed to use stuff up in the pantry. They're actually pretty low calorie, like this is probably 60 calories because I used egg whites instead of full egg and Greek yogurt instead of oil and stuff. Not gonna lie, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I've been like staying away from them, <laughs> but like I might eat them now. No, they're low there's some other things in the fridge that are not as low calorie that I did not bring. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we got some chicken going on here and is that teriyaki sauce? Yeah, so because I'm doing a homemade chipotle bowl, I like a little bit of sweet in there. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's a little weird, but. And I don't measure things perfectly right now. I guesstimate. I guesstimate because I have the skill to be able to guesstimate and yeah. Bay says that it's okay to guesstimate. Yeah, so as far as like nutrition goes with Maddie, uh, I mean, we've been fluctuating a lot in the off season. We did a period of time where we were like higher calorie. <laughs> My finger just got stuck in there. Oh. <laughs> we were like higher calorie for a while and then now I'd say we're like kind of lower calorie, not not too low, but like a bit lower. Um, but yeah, like as far as like tracking goes in the off season, I think we just try to be mostly accurate and mostly right. When prep starts, that's when we're like 100%, like no flexibility whatsoever um, as far as like calories and macros. But the off season, like she's really, she's been doing this for years. She knows what she's doing, so I kind of just trust that. And then we just gauge off of how you're progressing, how you're booking, everything like that. I would say, like 100% of the time we're putting in effort, effort and we've been doing this long enough so we just we're not idiots about it like we never have crazy binge nights or anything like that <laughs> or if or binge off, days <laughs> if we're off if we're off it's literally only like one day it's never like a whole week in a row where we're like not tracking or off schedule yeah that's a super good point like um just to reiterate that like if we are i, I don't want to say bad like that's not how it is but like if we have days where we eat ice cream and pizza it is one day we eat ice cream and pizza and it's not like we're eating like 10 slices and an entire tub of ice cream. It's like we have a few slices and some ice cream and then, and then that's it. All right guys, last thing I wanted to talk about was specifically the plan when it comes to coaching Maddie and getting her to her goals. So, I mean, ultimately we would love to get our pro cards in the sport of bodybuilding, our IFBB pro cards. And with that, you kind of have to think about it systematically and create some sort of like long-term structured plan. So basically what we did is we have her do her first show last summer, which she won her class, it was awesome. And then we did an NPC national qualifier right after that uh, in Phoenix. So it was a pretty big show. She had like 20 something girls in her class. It was pretty insane. She made first call outs and I think she got like sixth or something like that. So she did really good, but um, obviously in order to go pro she would have to go like win or get second place at a national qualifier and then be able to show up to a national show and dominate. So with that being said, our whole plan was to take a lot of time off the sport. And I think that's super crucial, not just for bikini competitors, but for really all the divisions is your chances of getting better year to year if you're competing too often are very slim. You might make a little bit of progress from show to show year to year, but then you're going to have to do you know, a lot more shows, a lot more preps, just for minimal uh, results from year to year. So I think what we would rather do and what we're doing now is taking a lot of time off. So for Maddie, you know, it's already been a year. I think that she's getting really close. I think if she did a prep right now, I think she would dominate. Um, but we want to not be just kind of sure, we want to be really sure. So because of that, we're probably gonna take another year off. Maybe, maybe, even another year off of from then. <laughs> so two to maybe even three years of not competing before she'll compete again. That might sound crazy. I think this is really important though. Um, there's a lot of people that struggle with patience in this sport. I used to be one of them, but when it comes down to it, like if you wanna go pro, if you wanna go really far in the sport, sometimes you have to take a lot of time away. And as, as much as we wish building muscle and becoming an elite athlete, only took a few months or a year, it doesn't. It takes a lot of time. 
So with that being said, we are taking all this time. I do recommend that for bikini competitors. If, if you wanna be very competitive, not just do well locally, but do well at a national level and go pro, take time off, do what you gotta do. Um, you know, we already discussed with her training how we're focusing on the areas that we need to bring up. We already discussed with her nutrition and stuff, but essentially how we periodize that time frame is we'll go through little periods of time when we're pushing things a little more with, with more calories and maybe even volume, and then we'll kind of taper down, um, make sure that we're not getting too high of body fat percentage, and we'll just kind of keep doing that essentially for, like I said, two, maybe even up to three years before we start a prep. Now, before she does prep, last thing I'll say on the topic really is, before she preps, we're, make, we're gonna make sure to do kind of like a pre-prep prep, where we will do a diet phase, get her pretty lean, and then probably maintain and then um, try to get her metabolism a little higher before the actual prep starts. This is really key because um, if you're a girl and you have over 20 pounds to lose for a prep, then that's not ideal at all. I mean, it would, it would be better if you only had 10, 15 pounds to lose for your prep. Uh, if you got over 20, that's gonna be really pushing it. Um, if you got like 30, like, whew, you're in for it. <laughs> and anything more than 30, it's probably not a good idea. So uh, I have in the past, I've had to turn down girls or say that, hey, if you want to do a show, we can't do that show in six months. We got to do it in like 12 months. And that's really the reason why it's nothing against them. It's just me being realistic. I don't want to put an athlete on stage unless they're going to be able to compete at their absolute best and be conditioned in the way that they need to be. So that's kind of our plan. That's how we're doing things. Yeah, so I'm going to put on the screen here. You can see her transformation. We'll throw a few transformations up. I think we'll do one of her from her prep transformation from over a year ago and also before she started her prep till now. So you can kind of get an idea of how much muscle she's put on. Um, as far as weight, I think she's probably almost 10 pounds heavier than she was at the start of last prep, but maybe even, I don't know, maybe even leaner than before, which is pretty crazy. Small little dynamic too, just to, to put this video to an end, um, something we've, I guess, been asked a lot or a few people have made comments on is the dynamic between like a husband and wife and me coaching her. Um, all I'll say to not go on a huge ta tangent, I guess, is that it works for us. It really does. We both enjoy it, right? You enjoy it. Yeah, I don't think I would have as much trust in anyone else. Um, to be able to get me to the point where I want to be because he is so involved. He sees me every sometimes It's like oh my gosh He sees me every day. So am I actually changing or both like aware of how much I'm changing? But that's really like the only negative thing that we've come across other than that It's amazing that like he's just so involved and he can really see like every aspect of things that I'm doing So he can understand me on a whole nother level. Yeah, I understand that it's not for everyone like that And it's not for every couple, but it does work for us And if anything like I know her better than anyone else on this planet So I can coach her because of that <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna end the video there. Thanks so much uh, Make sure to support her page on Instagram Maddie Oak and she's been YouTube a little bit more lately, too So Maddie Oak on YouTube <laughs> Maybe she'll yeah. film her entire next prep series, but I think she's gonna dominate. It's gonna be an awesome journey, whenever that is. Maybe maybe she'll start prep in six months. Maybe she'll start prep in a year. Maybe she'll start prep in 18 months. We don't really know, but one of those for sure, so. Get, give this video a like, and every like is a pound of muscle that I'll put on. Straight to the delts. <laughs> All right, peace out, bye. <laughs>